All right, look. Here's the deal. We bought a six-foot sub. Yep. Which should have been 15 duck calls. You know how many duck calls it is? How many? 14. We got dipped on this one, Jason. Yeah. That's almost a whole nother sandwich. We just got shaft. That's right. They gave us the shelf, boys. Six inches. Yeah, the six-inch shelf. It just ain't right. Recut it and shortchange yourself six, six inches. I like it. What are you doing? I'll tell you what's going on. We got the shaft. I need the purchase order 105.3. Now? Right now, during lunch break? Yes, I need to match it up right now. I wasn't gonna bring that up, but it is lunch break. It is? Are you break. kidding me? Hey. You threw it in the garbage? No, this is a file. Chase, if there's one thing you can rely on these guys to do at work, it's take long lunch breaks. If there's something you can't rely on them for, it's pretty much everything else. Handy, man. Eek. Actually, that does match. OK, so Jay's found the thing. But any normal employee would have lost it. So in a way, he's so disorganized, he can't even lose something properly. We need a bigger bin so I don't have to keep doing this. You need to organize that whole thing. At least get a filing cabinet or a binder. Crap, get a trapper keeper. And if I need to come back here and get something, you need to be able to hand it to me just like that. I did just hand it How to you. How would you fix that? I know, this was an exception, but if I asked for another one, I guarantee you couldn't find it. I'll take that bet. I don't have enough, but the point is, that's not well, a file cabinet. Look, I know what's in here. That's right. Who's gonna step up and organize the darn filing cabinet? I would, but my plate's full. Hire uh, somebody. Hey, right here, see? I, I wish you were more like that. I actually don't want to do it, but... I think <laughs> if you hired Alan, he could do He's the most organized person I know. Agreed. Hey, I've got too, too many brothers of mine working up here. Blood's thicker than water. Hey. All right, who's going to step up and be the team leader? Hire Alan. Yeah. We need Alan. That's right. We, we need, need Alan. Alan. We, we need, need Alan. Alan. We need Alan. All right, I'll think about it and talk to Al, but y'all need to step up. That thing needs to be organized. All right, everybody uh, come get your sandwich. Uh, I want the end piece. Uh, uh, what do you mean you want the end piece? Look here, I was copy fishing one day. Look. No, here we cart go. Cart goes on there. No, no, cart goes on there. Look. I caught a big old octopus. OK, huh? look, an octopus, and look. I made tacos out of that sucker. You tell me, good. Where was you at when you caught an octopus? I was in the lake. Are you kidding? No. They're what? salt water only. <laughs> and when they get in fresh water, boy, they. Hey, you tell me. Al, what's happening, ladies? What are you doing here? I'm the office manager. Awesome. <laughs> Checking out our efficiency needs. So, look, I want to hear from you guys. What are some things that we can do to be a little more efficient around here? Let's take our TV out of the 90s. You guys watch a lot of TV? Uh, it's not even HD. Yeah. It doesn't know what that is. You reckon we could get a ice cream machine? You think that would help efficiency? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants some ice cream. That's exactly right. So I had the opportunity to put together a little list of things I think is going to help us. I've been working on some uh, ways that can be efficient. Yep. OK. So. You guys are going to rotate through trash cleanup, sweeping, mopping, the kitchen, which is a disaster zone. But I'm having flashbacks to my army days here with all this crap <laughs> I'm looking at here. Hey, look, there's a reason I retired from the military. Two words, organization. Well, I know this is going to take a little time to soak in. I don't know about all this. Al reminds me of this superior I had. We called him Sergeant Slaughter, because wherever he went, OK, he was a killing machine of fun. Oh, we can do it, size. The team's no, more. I don't We're all think gonna pull so. together. Sarge walks in. Robinson, clean the bags. Tuck in that shirt. And hey, do something with them boots. They smell like rotten cabbage. Hey, look, I don't know why he was hung up with my boots, okay? It was my feet that smelled like cabbage. What I'm gonna do the rest of today is just observe. I need to see what you guys are doing in here. So you just carry on like I'm not even here. What about a bigger refrigerator? I'm not here, Gawain. I'm just observing it. I'm not here. You just gonna stand there? Not here. Do what you'd normally do. Uh -huh. oh. oh, you're gonna realize you're here in about 20 seconds. I'm not here. <laughs> 
Corey, what time did you say that alarm went off? It was like 3 o'clock in the morning. Well, it's the motion detector that went off in the front yard. I told you, somebody was here. I'm not going to say somebody was here. Something tripped the alarm. What I'm sure it was a raccoon or a dog or something. How do you know? Because the dogs, I can tell by the way they bark. Oh, please. They have an animal bark and they have a person bark. It's a distinct bark. Corey got so riled up over our security alarm going off last night, she called in our security guy, Dan. Dan, write the code on the wall above the alarm. Why would you want to do that? So you can remember it, so you can turn it off. Well, then if a burglar comes in and the alarm goes off, he's going to read the code and just turn if it off. If he's already in, we would know he's here. Corey is panicking, but these alarm malfunctions happen all the time. If they didn't, the expression false alarm wouldn't exist. We've got to get the security alarm working. It's working. It goes off all the time. Right about now, I want to install a security system that will protect me from ever having this conversation again. I spent a lot of years on the force. You've got to pay attention to it. That's what it's here for. Hmm. Oh, no. Wise beyond your ears you are. I think I got you rigged up. I got to go. I've got a class. You taking some college classes? I teach a class. Jedi training. <laughs> It's actually a self-defense class. Apparently, I'm going to need that, since Willie's not real concerned about the security around here. Ah! I better learn to take care of myself. Ah! There is one pressure point I can show you that he'll wet his pants. Really? Yes, ma'am. Pipe down, Dan. I want to learn that. Can we come back tomorrow for a class? The only problem with tomorrow is my assistant's not available. I have to have someone that I demonstrate on. John Luke will do it. What, what do I have to do? Endure a little pain. They're gonna beat the crap out of you. Huh. All right, guys, I gotta get out of here. I'll write you tomorrow. Thanks, we'll Dad. Appreciate it. John Luke, I am your father. You're hilarious. Hilarious, I am. We've been violated, boys. What in the world? I'm telling you, we've been violated. Where's my stuff? Violated. Name tags? At least you got the chairs right. I think that's my chair. No, that's mine. It's got my name on it. I get up to go to the bathroom all the time. I can't be sitting in the middle. Oh, no. Uh-uh. This ain't bad. How am I supposed to fit right here? Why are y'all sitting down? Because I'm tired. This is usually where I get my best rest. This is the problem with people like y'all. Somebody comes and changes the way we do things. You don't look OK. This is a comfortable chair. I like it. Bunch of dumb oxen. I do like his chair, though. I've got a feeling how this might have happened. And that's only mildly creepy. Look, I love Al. He's the best beardless man that I know. However, he can be a real nuisance. We're like puppets, and Al thinks he's the puppet master. When I was a kid, he was the boss. We're not kids anymore, though. I figured that was obvious. Do not touch, touch any. any. Thing. Thing. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. This aggression will not stand, boys. The other thing that should be obvious, I don't take orders from beardless men, just as a general rule. Morning, men. Ha! Huh. What do you think of the changes? Funny. I think it sucks. It's how you haven't even given it a chance. How would you like for me to come? I, I'll ask you. How would Lisa like for me to come into her bedroom uh -oh. and then just rearrange Everything. She'd have you arrested, first of all. If you <laughs> well, take that's what we ought to do to you. So what's that in your hand? Good observation, Martin. This is your timesheets. <laughs> what? So here's the way it works. Whenever you guys need to take a break, mm -hmm. you punch out. No. Sal, you need to take a nap, you punch out. No. Jep, you've got a gas attack, you punch out. Oh, yeah. We have to keep track of time. No. Nope. I'm going to leave these here. Do not destroy these. I know you guys can do it. Come on. Be all you can be, sir. No, see, there you go the again, boy. You can do it. Ain't going to happen. I think since he sent us a message, we need to send him a message. Yeah. What do you think do? Things are changing. <laughs> this aggression will not stand, boys. Number one, this is not a dance class. This is not a Pilates class. This is not a get fit class. This is a get mean class. We're gonna show you how to get out of a number of grasps or holds. It doesn't take size. It doesn't take strength. It has nothing to do with age. All it is is leverage, speed, and the target. Oh, wow. Ever been attacked? Anybody ever had an altercation? You know, I have miniature farm animals, and I have a little pygmy goat. 
sweet as pie. He decides to headbutt me in the back of the knee. When he did that, guess what happened to my other knee? I went down. Goats aren't the only ones that can do that. Well, sometimes Willie tickles me, and I can't get him off me. I promise you, when we get done, if you don't want him tickling you, he will not. <laughs> Good. So, John Luke, if you'll step over here, then we'll start demonstrating some stuff. All right, John Luke. Woo -hoo! Yeah, right. John Luke. You got this, John Luke. I'm so glad all the wives decided to join me today because there are a lot of unpredictable people out there, and you just never know when someone's going to try to hurt you or someone you love. John Luke, you are fixing to hit the ground. Oh, no! <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Also, I can't stand it when Willie tickles me. I can take this hand and make him do anything I want him to do. Stand on your tippy toes. <laughs> tippy toes. I take a finger and eat snot, oh. and I go straight down. Oh. Good oh. grief. If Dan's demonstrations with John Luke are any indication of what I'm going to learn today. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Oh. <laughs> I don't think Willie's going to be winning any more tickle battles. I own him. Yeah. Whatever I want is mine. Is it normal for the perpetrator to start laughing at this point? <laughs> no, I can stop that. Oh, no. <laughs> Mom! Don't hurt him. Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Poor John Lee. I'm going to do that to Willie. All right, Johnny D, we need a new flavor for the menu. So I got to see which one you think is the best, uh -huh. Mississippi pan juice or Attila the Runs. I thought it was a little hot. <coughs> yeah, it's hot. <clears throat> Is it in your sinuses? Oh, uh, I don't think I have any hair left in my nose. It hit, that's where it hit me. <laughs> my sinuses would totally open up when I did it. What's up? What do y'all need? He made a bad mistake. This is this is an emergency. Yeah, he messed up. We're having a scientific meeting. I thought it'd be a good idea to hire Al, but uh, now it'd be a better idea to fire him. Yeah, you need to fire the yeah. boy. It was your idea. I said I made a bad call. He, that's made, not, he messed up. That's not easy for me you to say. You need to correct him. I'm not firing out. He's a vibe killer. What he's doing is, is killing productivity. Well, there's very little productivity. I don't know how he can kill that. No, we're getting all ordered out. I don't even know what he's doing, so I don't care. He brought in paperwork, time cards, all this junk, cleanup detail, and all that junk. The more you talk about it, it sounds like he's doing a good job. No, he's not. No. Trust me. No. You're the one saying he was going to save everything, and that's exactly what we needed. Uh, if he stays, production's fixed to go down. Oh, it's already gone down. We could be building duck calls right now. Look, if he stays, we're out of here. Yeah, we're out. No, no. Alan needs to be fired. You hired him, you fire him. Oh, I've been wanting to fire my brother for years. All right, y'all need to get back to work. Hey, Al hey. took all our snacks. Hand me one of them wings. All right, I got you the perfect wing right here. That's good a good one great, there. Johnny D. There you go. Good grief, son. Johnny D. Do you like that? See? It's really not bad. Are you kidding me? What's that called? Attila the Runs. How? No. Bro, that was my water. Tell them boys to put some hot sauce in that stuff. I told you it wasn't Let's that get out of here. He eats a lot of weird stuff every day. You're such a pansy. All right, do you want to learn how to defend against this? It's orange. It's kind of cute. It's still cute. a gun. I love orange. It's not intimidating at all. It looks like a pumpkin gun. It's a prop. It's how we teach you how to defend against Is a handgun. Is it rubbery? Do they make guns in, like, pink and stuff girls? Oh, Aww. yellow, like the sunshine. Yeah. yeah. Pretty floral print or something. I like polka dots. I do, too. You know what? We should get a purse that has that little pocket in there, <gasps> that concealed yeah. weapons pocket. Everybody agrees we like orange. Yeah. Everybody agrees it's pretty. It's even pretty if it's polka dot. We're all good with that. We may look like a group of dainty southern bells, but us Roberts and Wives, we've got a little fight in us. All right. Perry, step, elbow. All right, whoop, stop, stop, back up. We're not afraid to throw down if the situation calls for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what happened? Okay. I think any time you marry into a family of stubborn men, you learn to fight for what you want. Go for the wrist. OK. How do you jam the gun? With the second hand. You come uh, over the top with the second hand. Uh, <laughs> Very got good. It. You, yeah. figured, you figured it out. You figured it out. Although the Robertson men are definitely softer the younger they get. Oh, John Lee. Oh, so cute. Oh, I like a 
like a transformer. Oh my God. Hey, uh, look, he's got home plate attached to his growing. <laughs> I know you don't want to hurt him, but I think oh, we can now make can you have a little incentive. Uh oh. Think about his smart mouth. Oh, look, just think, think about this. He's got you on the ground. And he is tickling you. Oh, that makes oh, me mad. It's going down. Get him. <laughs> come on, come, come get him. On. All right. Get All right. Right. Come on, Corey. Kick. Oh, kick. Get him. Good. Come kick. On, let's Good. Get Good. Him. Kick. Come on. Good kick. Good kick. Good kick. Uh oh. Uh oh. You never learn. You take on one Robertson woman. You take on all of them. <laughs> What's up? Well, I'm uh, wondering about this. Well, I, I don't really know what happened. Well, here's what I know. We're up on production, no TV, timesheets are being turned in. There's a schedule now for the next six months. How long have you been here? Two days. Hang on, let me get him in there. I need Jace to come to my office immediately. J were you listening to our conversation? We were looking for something. What are you looking for in Corey's office? Stuff. Where's Si? He's been in the bathroom for like an hour. Yeah. Did he clock out for that? That's what I'm talking about. I mean, I could hear the moans and the groans through the walls. He said that stuff wasn't hot. What you is see this defacing of company property? I've just been trying to find the person who did it. I've been carrying it around. Mm, I bet. Oh, I see you got your memo. Here's the deal. Al just informed me that production's up, so I'm thinking about keeping him around. That's a bad Finally, call. Finally, somebody that appreciates. He's exactly right. It's a terrible idea. You know who else was exactly right? This guy right here. No, no. He's the one that saw you. No. I'm trying to build you up. You're I, right. No, I was wrong. I'm saying you're right. I was wrong. No, you're wrong because you were right. No. You know what I'm saying? You're wrong. But you're wrong thinking that you weren't right. You're both wrong. What I'm saying is, Al's staying, and I like the direction he's taking the company. Exactly what we need. Because I've been seeing some things, Willie, that quite frankly need to be organized at the top. For Jace? No, no, I'm talking about you. Believe me, I got my stuff in line, all right? Because I've been observing for two days now. Don't look after what I... I think trickle-down has to start trickling. He's on to something here, right? And we need some trickle-down organization. He's right about that. No, he's wrong about that. No. I've already trickled all exactly. I like trickle. I want to start the trickle at the top, and then it's going to trickle down. That's what I'm doing. That's why I brought you in. You're part of the trickle. Not enough trickling. Somebody didn't trickle right, all right? I'm just saying, if you want this to be a well-oiled machine, then I need to begin here. I don't need somebody to tell me what to do. I got a list that I need to talk about. Okay, about. all right. Jace, you're right. Al, you're out. You're fired. It's just business. Here, you can have this. Fired for helping the company? Chalk it up for just a two-day experience. Yeah. So. Oh, man. Good grief. Good grief. Oh, man. Whoa. Look, I'm telling you, boys, Mount St. Helens didn't have nothing on what just happened to the bathroom. You didn't want to be in there. No. I just had a glimpse of hell. All right, we got it. Did you clock out? Has he got uh, squared away here yet? Yeah, he gone. I mean, I love you. You're my favorite nephew, but, you know, hey, you know, better times. What do you want, son? Ice would be nice. Oh. I got it. Yeah, we got, that was we got enough okay. of the exit. Okay. Well, I just, you know, right. I didn't know. I wasn't sure you got it. We got it. I would sit down, but I can't. God. You talking about bad? Good green. <laughs> Now, what you got to remember is you got to get me. Well, y'all got it figured out. Look what the cat drug in. Hi. I texted him to come by because I have been very pleased with what I've seen today. It's like yoga class, huh? Uh, uh far from it. No, we bad. Yep. All right, y'all got some cheerleading moves or not? Oh, please. Oh. Who's Robo Flop over there? <clears throat> Are you wearing a diaper? <clears throat> well, one of the pressure points actually make you pee. You're telling how many people's peed in that thing. We can show you some things they've learned. Anybody want to go? Come on, Corey. This is from the straddle position, which means the woman is laying in the bed. She wakes up, and they're trying to strangle her. It's the hardest move to get out of. Corey does it very well. There is nothing better than getting back at your husband for messing with you. All right, let's do All right, it. Corey, Corey, do it, do it, do it. This will be a piece of cake. I'd actually like to try to figure out that pee your pants move. 
That would totally be the sweetest payback. Get on top of her, put your hands around her throat. So Sit on me. If you're scared, say you're scared. I'm not scared. We'll straddle her. Especially since the last time we had to took a fight, Willie made me pee my pants. It's just like a tiny bit. I mean, he's made me pee my pants a few times. Go. All right, Corey, come on. Go, 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 go. Roll oh. out. Oh. Girls win. Yeah. Girl power. Corey. <laughs> Good job. Uh, Perfect. We bad. Uh, <laughs> all right, y'all bow. Father, we thank you for another good day on planet Earth. For that, we are humbled and hopeful. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. 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 We've all had those moments in life where, for better or for worse, your family exceeds your expectations. Sure, it can catch you off guard. Like your older brother getting way too involved in your work habits, or underestimating your wife's self-defense skills. Which, for the record, I wasn't trying that hard. Regardless of what happened today, it's important to embrace each other, not just because we share the same last name, but for what makes us different, no matter how different. Let me tell you, Attila the Hunt, she is a mean, sadistic little heifer. Hey, look. Yeah, what's that up there in the road? I don't know, let's investigate it. In the South, roadkill is a redneck's paycheck. Get you a knife, come on. Goodness. Hey, you watch for cars. State of Louisiana has a $5 bounty on all Nutrirats because they are destroying the marsh. That's five bucks a tail. Come on, help me, sir. What? Ah. All right, hold on, last one. Just because I got money in my pocket, I don't mean I'm too good. Come on, Jason, we gotta go. To stop and pick up a $5 bill that's laying in the middle of the road. Don't put that hey. nasty thing in here. Yeah. Good gracious. Uh, Woo. A lot of mustiness there that's a little they, rancid. They, they done been out there a while. Yeah. Uh, hey, five dollars, it ain't worth it. Uh, wow. uh, Woo. Good gracious alive. I'm about to lose my life. Look here, roadkill, it's top of the line odor. It'll make your hair stand on end, it'll run you slam out of Louisiana. Throw that crap out. Uh, Nobody said making a dollar is easy, especially when it smells bad. You don't have to blow that loud. Oh, you got to make sure it'll go. Do you hear me doing that? I don't hear you doing much of nothing over there. Well, I'm inventing a new duck call. <laughs> Is this new call going to make money? No, so we're just going to give them away. <laughs> I'm back there with the riffraff. I'm an inventor. You can't put me in this setting and expect me to invent. <laughs> I need a new office. You have an office. I just need a place to get away up here so I can concentrate. You want an office up here? I'm the COO. Uh -huh. <laughs> Shit. Oh, Jace. In this company, Willie's number one. I'm number two. And that's what he's treating me like, a big pile of number two. You're doing great in that space. An office is for smart people. Jace isn't exactly part of the brain trust. He's more like a brain fart. Jace, I can't help you. You can't have one of these offices. They're full. Whatever. The old swamp provides, Cole. Mainly, I use the grandkids when it comes to crawfishing just as a labor pool. I did this for a living one time, but now the duck call is selling good. We eating like kings, color TV, hot water. My grandkids have a lot. They are far better off than we were as children. A commode that flushes instead of a hole back there behind the house. Way better off. So we've come a long way. My job is to get them to appreciate that, not take it for granted. We got about two and a quarter sacks there. Life is good, Cole, man. Life is real good. 
What have you been up to? I tried to get a new office for me, but they're all full. I'm the COO. I need a place to think. What if we just build one? Martin looks really dumb. That's one of the greatest ideas you've ever had. But he's really smart. <laughs> you want something done, you do it yourself. Hey, that's what started this company. That's what started this country. That's it. Hey, we'll help you build it. I don't think we ought to tell Willie. <laughs> no, this is going to have to be a covert operation. As soon as he leaves, we'll start. Out. We'll build it and ask for forgiveness later. Let's do it. In the Army, they call that initiative. Yeah. Go on the offense. Then I'm going to close the door in his face and say, I'm busy. Oh, I'm busy. <laughs> don't bother me right now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, whatever you're mad about, I didn't do it. I'm not mad. Oh, oh OK. <laughs> no, you're doing good. Hey, look, Corey's out of town, and I got roped in to uh, the petting zoo with Miss Kay. <laughs> so I'll be out. So I need y'all to make sure you get the stuff done. Have fun Looking at good. the petting zoo. Go to the petting zoo, you dog. Anybody want to trade with me? No, you're good. Have fun at the zoo. This is perfect. He's gone. I say, let the building begin. Well, what are we waiting on? Welcome to the warden's office. I'm thinking right here. We got a wall. We got a door. All we got to do is build three walls. If a bunch of Egyptians could build pyramids with no equipment, I think I can take three grown men and build an office in less than 24 hours. Si, what are you doing? Size measuring. 16 feet. I just thought you were practicing for a field sobriety test or something. Hey, do me a favor. What? Touch your nose like this and stand on one leg. Come knock into it. What's in that cup? Hey, easy, boy, easy. <laughs> Go vote for take. Si, are you sober? Sure I'm sober. I don't want you to nail your own foot. Oh, look at all of them. I love animals. I probably had over my childhood about 50 cats, 25 dogs. The most unusual one I ever had would be the Nutri rat. He one day decided to bite my leg, and he was gone. Willie, you never milked a cow? Uh, not regularly. And squeeze and pull down. All right, let's see here. That's quite the tea. Uh, <laughs> I don't mind spending time with my family. I love doing that. But when I'm gone from the warehouse, nothing gets done. Bring her on in there, Galvin. Easy. Unload! I can build anything. I mean, look, if a beaver can build a house, I think I can build an office. When you grow up with your brothers, you know just the right button to push to send them off. This right here, building this office, it's gonna push with his button. It'll be 4th of July around there for a couple of days. Bottle of rockets. So let me get this straight. The only way in and out of here is through Willie's office? You are correct. Willie is my brother. I used to sleep in the same bed with that joker. That's unfortunate. Oh, I know. <laughs> I mean, I've seen that boy wet to bed. You know what I saw Willie do one time? I saw him when he was a kid laying down, and he was peeing at an arc, and it was hitting him right between the eyes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Skeletons are coming out of the closet. I have always wanted goats. Tuh. In my opinion, you're not a proper woman if you don't have a goat or two. I really, really want a goat. You don't even have a fence. Well, you can build a pen. Kay, how much longer? We gotta get out of here. I'm not leaving here without a goat. I'm serious. Kay, if I get you a goat, can we just leave? Yeah, but more than one, of course. Are these goats for sale? Well, I don't know about that. I'll give you $100. $100 wouldn't buy the horns off of one of them. I'll take $1,000 and you carry them with you. They'll fit just right in the back of your Escalade. <laughs> no. Well, it's just a car. That's a $70,000 car. I'm not putting goats in the back of it. I want the goats. <laughs> I want the goats. I ain't putting no goats in the back of that Escalade. I'm going to tell you that right now. Okay, this is the dumbest idea you ever had. But once we get them See? home, they'll be fine. Okay, don't let those goats crap back there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank goodness. Bring it on in. A little more. All right, a little more. All right, 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 whoa. 
When I said I want a new office, I got one of these. So I'm taking it upon myself to build my own office. And guess what? I'm gonna build it right beside the boss. Down, no, the other down. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm out of here. I got the best seat in the house right here, boy. I didn't ask them to help me because I think they're smart. I basically need live bodies with a heartbeat. Intelligence is optional. You got me backed into one spot. Nobody moved the ladder there. You said put it right there where you were standing. Hey, you got to be more Pacific. Pacific or space? Hey, I'm not. Si. Si. The Pacific <laughs> is an ocean. Yeah. No, we ain't talking about no Atlantic Pacific here. How'd you graduate high school? He did. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't talking ocean here. We're talking about building the roof. You be more Atlantic, because Martin's going to be more Pacific. You can't get it straight in your mind. <laughs> And I'll be the Indian. Uh, <laughs> hey, what's Indian and the cowboys got to do with building the roof? You know, I, I get to talking fast, and they have a hard time understanding. Hey, they just need to think faster. Are we going to build this roof, or are we going to play with oceans all afternoon? That way they can keep up with my voice. Who brought oceans up to begin with? <laughs> drop, 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 drop everywhere. It's just like a gum machine with poop in it. They're crapping everywhere. I hate to tell you that. These goats, they're like four-legged devils. I mean, they're peeing, they're pooping. They're doing everything they can do to destroy this car. This is exactly why I didn't want to get these goats. <laughs> The object is hit it on the head. Go straight up. Let me see. Oh, good night. I think Willie's going to be happy that I built this office right beside him. I'm going to tell you, it's amazing. When I get a bunch of rednecks together, what we can accomplish. I'm as proud as a rutting buck. Redneck injury. They're geniuses sometimes. Jay? Yeah? Here's my contribution to you. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend, George. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> hey, hey, you got to treat George right now. Old George the Beaver, he's been with me for about 20-something odd years. I was like losing one of my children. I don't play with my beaver too much. Hey, he don't like it. The cool man, what do you think about this crawfish and son? It's good eating. And about the one of the best eating things there he is on the face of the earth. See, there's a female. There's her little, her little vagina, as they call it, right there. See the male right here? There's his, as I say, in the business, ding dong. He puts it right up in there, takes two to tango. Down here in the south, you explain the birds and bees to your grandson via the crawfish. Crawfish have ding dongs and vaginas. It's a good thing to point to and say, kids, check that out. They'll figure it out. Them little yuppie girls, they don't even like crawfish. You know, you can make it simple for her. On your first date, you can say, what do you think about crawfish? And if she says, ooh, you know, yeah, yeah, just go out there and dump her out. But the kind you want is like your grandma. See, when I walked out the door, I looked over there on the cabinet. She's making dough. Now, when they're making dough for the crawfish pie, before you have gone to run the traps. What does that tell you? She's confident in you. That's a nice way of saying it. You're educated, boy. You make straight A's, don't you? Throw that sack in the truck. Linda, can you bring me that file on... Um... What do you think? What do you think? This is the new official oasis of Jace. You built an office. I don't know what Jace is thinking. He had to have worked harder building this little office than he's worked for me in 10 years. That's my door. That's our door. Dude, you've crossed the line. Hey, Willie. Willie. 
Jace, the people in these offices don't talk to each other through the walls. They work quietly or they send emails. Oh, I love working next to Willie. This is going back to our childhood. We had one room, all the brothers, and we played games all night, built forts, played army. Did you ever figure out how to make that guacamole? Shut up and work. Man, I like it stuff. Although they weren't always good times, there's nothing worse than waking up and realizing that you're in your brother's urine. Hey, you know this old frog I got? He won't come out from under that rock. Jace, I don't care about the frog. Hey, Willie. What you doing? Jace has totally redefined the term ADD. He's ADDD. What do you think about it, Mr. Beaver? He can't shut up. Hey, Willie. Willie. Hey, Willie. I just had an idea. <laughs> oh, there it went. Yep. Well, those goats are driving me crazy. <laughs> I told you not to buy them. You gotta come take care of them until I can get a pen built, okay? Mom, I can't come get those goats. Now, hurry up, because I've got things to cook, okay? I love you. Bye. Ma I... You're here. You would not believe what happened. Okay, these goats are fine. No, they ate my azaleas and they're tearing up everything. They even got the kids' baby doll. You gotta take them today because they're gonna get eaten. Just keep them temporary till we can get a pen built. Okay, I did not sign up for this. This is part of the family business. No, this ain't part of the family business. Yes, it's my business and you're my son. What am I supposed to do with a bunch of goats? This ain't goat commander. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with these things. Well, you'll figure it out. You're smart. There they go. Say bye, goats. Corey, it was not my idea. I put them in Will's bathroom. It's the perfect place. They're in there. They're doing goat stuff. They can poop in there. They can pee in there. They can drink out of the toilet. They're like harmless. Yeah. No, they're, yeah. I'm gonna have it worked out by the time you get back tomorrow. Let me call you back. All right, bye. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Whoop. No, no, no. Sons of Satan, come on. Oh, you pooped all over the floor. Come on. Come on. Morning, Willie. Hey, Lynn. Jace, Jace. This is exactly why I didn't want to give Jace an office in the first place. I mean, when it comes to this company, Jace could care less. I'm going hunting, y'all figure it out. <laughs> but then again, sometimes Jace's absence is better than his presence. Go over to the office. Yeah, bring the truck. <laughs> Load this sucker up and get it out of here. Ain't he gonna be mad? I could care less if he's mad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's right. Jason's been great his whole life at coming up with stupid plans, and I've become even better at totally dismantling them. Let's let her rip, Dater Jeff. Hey, yep, there goes the COO. Oh, my. <laughs> you know what my hobby is? Pissing Jace off. Easy. So, uh, what was it like getting these every day? I think then I was getting about $20 a sack. That was big money. Now we sell one duck call for 20 bucks. Life was good back in the 60s. Everybody was happy, 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 happy. 20 bucks ain't what it used to be, that's for sure. That's just little stuff you can pick out and eat while you're eating your crawfish. You know, eat your little corn. I mean, where's that? What's that, a mushroom? Or a potato. Give me some more crawfish. You eat a lot of these, Cole, you move backwards as fast as you can forward. What about it? About time you showed up. There was a building here, and it's gone. It's like it vanished. Where's my office? Something happened to it? 
You demolished it? I relocated it. Where did you move it? Come on. I'll show you. What are you showing? Remember I told you about those goats? <laughs> Just wait. Are you kidding me? What do you think? That's my office. It was your office. Now, it's Mr. Doodoo and Hershey Kiss's office. There you go. Do you think this is fun? It's just stupid. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> believe fun. you would do this. Uh, right on your desk. That's two of your coworkers now. You got my duck calls laying all over the darn floor. Oh, that's got goat pee on it. I just killed two birds with one stone. Kay gets her goat pen, and Jace doesn't have to talk to his stuffed beaver anymore. You can blow duck calls as loud as you want, and you got company. Oh, I had somebody to talk to. My frog. Where's my frog? It's one thing to mess with my office, but it's another thing to mess with my frog. I had bonded with that frog. We had become best friends. Hey, hey. There we go. Look, that's the enemy right there. Oh, man. OK, there's your goat okay. pen. You like it? Perfect. I built this as an office. Well, thank you, Jace. You won't even have to get me a Christmas present this year. It's just a perfect thing to do for your mother. You know I can never drink coffee out of that pot again. Come on, let's go let's up and eat crawfish. some crawfish, and then oh, you yeah. can get over it. Quit pooping over everything. <laughs> Father, we thank you for these crawfish that you provided for us. You fill the woods and water with plenty of things that are great to eat. Amen. Yeah. Let's get in on them mud bugs. In life, we all want things like an office or crawfish or sometimes even goats. Usually, what we want isn't what we need. In our case, Phil got what we needed. Miss Kay got what she wanted. And Jace, well, he got what nobody wants or needs, goat pee. Serves him right for wetting the bed and blaming me all those years. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Sadie farted. John Lou, seriously? <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, you did. I did not fart. I promise yes, did. I did not fart. Sadie, did you? I really didn't. I yes, promise. Yes, you did. Did you, Sadie? No, I did not <laughs> fart. She Sadie. did. No, I didn't. John Luke, it's not funny. <laughs> Mom <laughs> thinks it's funny. That's not funny. Farting's always funny. I don't care how old you are. I did not fart. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny, actually, Willie. All right, so, John Luke, have you been working on your speech? What is that? It's a whip out. All right, Indiana Jones, put it down. The speech is tomorrow. John Luke, this is serious. The governor. The governor of the great state of Louisiana is visiting here tomorrow to present Doug Commander an award. You seriously got to work on this. That's good. John Luke is introducing the governor at this little award ceremony thing they've set up. That's hilarious. He was asked to give a little speech, but I'm starting to worry that John Luke and speeches may not mesh. John Luke, you need to take this seriously. Yeah, I'm kind of with your dad on that. This is pretty important. I've been working on it. Dad, by tomorrow, I'm going to have this speech whipped in the, sh whipped in the shape. You can't even get that right. Oh, boy. Air ball, air ball, air ball, air ball. <laughs> Ooh. Brick. <laughs> Galvin, it's not a brick. It's an air ball. Ball, please. Can you hit the rim? I'm nervous. Dang governor's coming in town. Let me shoot again. Why are you nervous? It's a governor. You're trying to tell me that's the reason you missed it? Yeah. My game's usually tight, but it ain't now. I'm too nervous. Huh? What is tight? 
Tight. Tight isn't good. Like, my shoes are tight. They're cool. They're tight. There's some real advantages to being the youngest brother. I'm more in tune with the younger generation. Who come up with that? I've always said that. You've always said that? I know who Dr. Dre is. I know who Criss Cross is. That's tight. Huh? So I know the lingo. Tight. This shirt is too tight. That's what the problem is. That's what's in style now. My jeans are tight. My shirt's tight. <coughs> that, that burp was tight. And it had something behind it. <clears throat> your hat is tight. Huh? I like your hat. It's tight. Don't ever say that again to me. Are you going to shoot Pinocchio? What? <laughs> Pinocchio? What got to do with that? Is that Phillips? <sighs> hey. Hey, Bob. No. no. That was a brick. Well, I said brick while ago, and you said air ball. It hit the rim. Really? So the governor's coming in a few hours. What's the problem? You're not supposed to be playing basketball. I told y'all to clean this up. We weren't technically playing basketball. This is the one day I actually need my employees to act like employees. The governor is coming here. This needs to look clean and nice. I'm not asking for the world. It's a warehouse. It's supposed to look like this. No, it looks like crap. At the very least, these guys can pick up boxes off the floor. We need to look our best. I've already told you this. Continue. Or at the very, very least, they could avoid making a new mess. Si, you're doing the exact opposite of what I just told you to do. But hey, this looks like it's gonna take a long time, and I'm, I'm tired. We just got here. I know, and the day's done starting off wrong. Whatever. I gotta go help John Lee with this big speech for the governor. He hasn't been preparing quite like he should have, so y'all need to get prepared, too. Clean it up. All right. Hey, don't worry, Willie, we'll make it look tight. We'll make sure this warehouse is tight. Quit saying that. Phil. Phil, I've been calling you. I wanted you to see something. Mm -hmm. huh. What do you think? Hey, you don't want to start something you can't finish there, little mama. I'm talking about my outfit. It's for the governor. Never heard of him. You're ridiculous. Hmm. Turn around one more time. Mm-hmm. When it comes to fashion, I'm not your man. Well, what do you think? If Miss Kay comes out and says, how do I look? I'm not looking at whatever duds she has on. Do it again. No, I'm not going to do it again. I'm getting dizzy. But if you want an opinion, that I can give you. Looks a little shiny. Shiny? Just seems a little shiny. Is it that shiny? Pretty, 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 pretty shiny. So it won't do? Is that what you're saying? Hello. Yo. Hey. hey. Just the girls I'm looking for. I've been with Phil long enough to know he's not much help when it comes to picking out an outfit. So is that what you're going to wear? He said it's too shiny. So when a big event's coming up, I want to invite some of the girls over. Now I kind of want to go look for something else. You want us to help you out? Hey, that's a great idea. Girl time. It's fun time. All right. Come on, Miss Kay. Let's go. OK. This will be fun. Mission accomplished. Thank you, Sadie and Corey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, John Luke Robertson. Good afternoon. All right, let me stop you right there. The key to public speaking is one thing. Speak louder? No, this is not volume. This is... Patience. Confidence? The key is right here in this region. Are you the key? Eye contact. Eye contact. You don't have to write it down, just remember that. John Luke may not be the greatest public speaker. Yet. But everybody's watching you. It's getting a little weird. But with my help, he could be the best of the best. John Luke Robertson. Oh, I got the wrong card. Well, second best. It's just me and you here. All right. When you give the speech, it'll be a couple hundred thousand. 
All right, to be honest, I just hope he can get the words out of his mouth. All right, I'm ready. All right, let's hear it. OK. You're up on the stage. <laughs> the clapping just stopped. Everybody's staring at you right now, waiting for what you're going to say. John Luke. I'm ready. All right, folks, and here he is, John Luke Robertson. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon there, John Luke. Hey, did you call me? No, I didn't call you. Hey, what are you talking about? John David said you needed help with public speaking. And look, I'm here. Willie's the last person that should be helping John Luke, OK, because he's a terrible public speaker. I don't need your help, son. The man sounds like R2-D2, OK? Nobody can understand a word he's saying. You're just trying to get out of clean the warehouse. Beep, 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 what? I don't need your help, son. I don't know. All right, fine, whatever. Let's just get this show on the road. All right, let's go. You're up on the stage. The clapping just stopped. Everybody's staring at you right now. Shouldn't he be standing up? No, he's fine. It's just practice, huh? Hey, for public speaking, can we stand it up? Good ladies and gentlemen, John Luke Robertson. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for all coming out this afternoon. Wonderful job, wonderful job. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect. He nailed it. Boy, this is a bad day to be a political roadie. I'm glad that ain't us. They're working pretty fast, though. Look at that one. He looks like an air traffic controller. Look at the efficiency. Look at the skinny jeans on that guy. Holy cow. This is what it's like to be Willie. He watches us work. This is how. Willie asked us to clean up the warehouse so it looks nice for the governor. We don't work near that fast. No. Nah. Come on. It's a warehouse. What's the first thing you would do if you were elected governor? Make a four-day work week. You wouldn't have to clean up your dog's poop. You have to do that? In town? Yeah. Well, I don't live in town. I'll go to jail before I reach down and pick up dog poop. That's exactly right. I will go to the penitentiary. If I were governor, no jalapeno chips. Why? I'm too hot. If that's the platform you were running on, I couldn't vote for you, even though I know you. Don't worry, I ain't running. Oh, I could have told you that. All right, Phil, you ready? Ready for what? Miss Kay, she wants a model for you. No, I thought you girls were going to take care of all that. <laughs> well, we picked it out, but you have to, like, approve it. She wants you to see it. She looks good. Whatever y'all say. Introducing your lovely wife, Miss Memo Kay. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. Beautiful. So what do you say? Bingo. That's the one. What about the polka dots on the arm? Are they too much for you? That's the one. You're not even looking when you say that. Look at this. That's it. Well, I should have known this was going to happen. If you say no to one outfit, get ready because there's a fashion show coming forth quickly. Come up and see me sometime, big boy. That's the one. Really? A man can't win when it comes to how do I look today. He loves it. I can tell by his reaction. Too plain. Just nod your head. Everything good. I kind of feel like that dinosaur, you know, Bernie. Barney. Bingo. How do I look? I'm like. You like it, don't you, Phil? That's the one. You don't like it. I can tell. How do I look yesterday when we were over there? I'm like, bingo. You think it's a fake cowhide? I know what you think. How many ways can I say that's it? He doesn't like it. That's just advice for you young bucks when your woman comes along. How do I look? Trust me, tell her she looks great, and then don't say anything else. Woo-hoo. Wow. Oh, that is nice. That is it. That's it. Perfect. He likes it. You're like a tiger. Mm. I may attack you later. Oh. oh OK. <laughs> <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> Little Miss Tiger. Yo.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for all coming out today. I'm here to introduce the governor, the governor of, Louisiana. of Louisiana, Bobby Jindal. Focus more. Focus. Look, I love my son, but sometimes he can be a real space cadet. All right, let's change it up. Maybe start with a joke. All right. And I'm talking way outer space. Why'd the cow cross the road? John, look, you can't ask the audience a question. It's Hold not on, like... Will. I want to see how this ends. Like, edges of the universe. Why did the cow cross the road? To get to the other side. He's just floating out there, no direction, staring, big eyes, big crazy eyes. the next act. Si, don't be heckling him. Boo! Boo! Si, nobody's gonna heckle him. With that joke, I'm gonna heckle him. Maybe something like, uh, so what's the deal with beards? Boo, bring the next act on. So si, that's funny. I didn't even finish no, the joke. No, it ain't funny. Hey, you know what I do when I'm speaking? I think of lemon meringue pie. What does that do? It gives me peace. I think I'm gonna take a break. Hey, peace of mind is like a piece of pie. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm going to take a quick Just think break. About you're thinking about a lemon meringue pie in your no, head. No, don't think about pie. That's, a, that's, that's not good. What do you mean it's not good? We're not thinking pie about... Pie is always good. I've never seen you turn down a pizza pie. Okay, so, so don't what? give me that. I'm going to take a quick break. You're pushing the boy too hard. If you need to replace him, I'm available, oh, okay, boy. for my minimum speaking feet. One lemon meringue pie. No. Well, this is how the pros do it. You jump up here and spin around. Yeah. That's how you do it. Look. Oh, God, i got to get steps. Well, <laughs> hey, I don't know if this thing's reinforced. Oh, Mike Tess. One, two. How about this? West Monroe, born and raised in the dunk line, is where I spend most of my days. <laughs> don't ever do it again. That was good. No, oh, what? That was really good. Have you ever noticed that when somebody gets up, they always get nervous? When they get up in front of people, they always have a nervous No tweet. more jalapeno chip, 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 chip. <laughs> Dude, that was flat. tight. <laughs> that was tight. Well, there's old JL. How's the speech coming along, John Luke? Not very good. <laughs> How's the speech going? Not very good. Dad and Si are getting in my head. Neither of them are making any sense. Hey, you don't need to listen to them. They're terrible speech givers. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that if you want advice on how to give a speech, Willie and Si are not your go-to guys. Willie, he rocks the boat. He gets so nervous, he just starts going back and forth. In Willie's case, he makes you seasick. You ain't never noticed that? I've never noticed that. And Si starts saying OK more than normal. Hey, bud. In Si's case, he begins every sentence with hey and ends it with OK. 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 He's like Little John. OK. I've never noticed that. I mean, his basic vocabulary revolves around hey, OK, and some guy named Jack. I don't have a quirk. Do what? I don't have one of them. Whatever they are. A nervous twitch? Yeah, that's it. Oh, I hate to tell you this. You have several. The first thing you do is you freeze when you get up there. You just freeze. Don't he? Yep. And then them ears turn red, so you know he's getting ready to talk in. Look how red he is. There you go. Yep, say look. look. There it is. Then you start talking, but your mouth is not moving, so everybody's confused if the sound is coming from you. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> everybody does something. So there's nothing to be nervous about. You got to get up there and break up the monotony. OK. You know what? I think I got this speech whipped. It's a whip out. Guys, the governor will be here any moment. 
and you got to get ready for Governor Jindal. Hey, 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 man. It's great hey to see how you. you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Duck Commander. Um, the, well, we're in the back of the warehouse here, but I missed you at the front. I, yeah, no, we just came back here. We got here early. The guys invited me to, to shoot around a little bit. Yeah, shooting basketball all day. I'm not usually the type of guy to say, hey, I told you so. They told me that they do their best work here, so I thought I'd kind of join in. Plan Is that on. what they said, huh? OK, let's face it, I am that guy. Yeah, I, I'd let them get back here, and mostly for exercise purposes. After years of Willie complaining about us playing basketball in the warehouse, it's pretty nice to see him eat his own words. John Lee, you shooting it up, huh? Yes, sir. I've been looking for you. Probably why I missed the governor coming through. I'm just going to take a second and relish in the moment. This is good. So, Governor, do you need anything? I mean, well, yeah, I'd like these guys to play a real game. <laughs> That's probably a bad idea. We don't want to play a real game. I'll tell game. you what. You make a shot, we'll play a real game. But if you miss, I get a ride in Air Force One. That's a deal. All right. <laughs> All right. Give me the ball. John Luke, I need to see you. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. I get Air Force sure One. Are you ready for this speech? Oh! Yes, sir, I got it. Jason and them were helping me. Are you kidding? They told me about your nervous sway you have when you speak. He tell you about him, like, um, um, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he didn't tell you the whole that. story. Oh, are you ready? Yeah, I'm finished. I got it. All right, yeah. Let's hear it. Nah. You know, you want to tell me what? All right, at least give me the opening line. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let me stop you right there. You ready? Ready. Any last minute jitters? Right. Yeah. John Luke. Good afternoon and welcome. You know, a wise man once told me that a good speaker should look everyone in the eye when he talks. So I'm using these note cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh-oh. My dad has always been a role model to me, teaching me not only the values of hard work and ambition, but the values of family. And I'm honored to be able to share the stage with him today. And now, here to present the award, I give you the governor of the great state of Louisiana, Governor Bobby Jindal. Hey! Right. Thank you very much. You know, it is a great honor to be up here with you. We're presenting our very first Governor's Award for Entrepreneurial Excellence in the state of Louisiana. This is a great family-owned and run business. You've got multiple generations in the same family working together, praying together, and living together. So it is my honor and privilege to present the Governor's Award for entrepreneurial excellence to Willie, the CEO of the Duck Commander. Let's give him a great round of applause. He gets this award. Thank you, man. Congratulations. Appreciate that. Wow. I was hoping to follow John Luke's speech, not the governor's. Um, but here we are. First of all, we give the glory to God for blessing us uh, with our talents and skills. Kay and Phil, for sure, for doing all the heavy lifting. Certainly all my brothers uh, in this as well. And thank you so much, uh, Governor, and thank you guys for coming out. All right. All right. Winning. Everybody would stand up. Governor John Lee, let's pray. Father, we're so grateful for uh, the many blessings that you've given us. We're thankful for our employees, our state, Governor Jindal, his family. We just pray that you bless them with peace and wisdom in all that we do. Amen. 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 When it comes to raising kids, there's a fine line between being involved and being too involved. Truth is, at some point, you got to learn to take a step back and let them do it their own way. And though it may be hard to let go, when you do, your kids usually have a way of surprising you. I couldn't be prouder of John Luke. I really had no doubt he'd pull through. Well, almost no doubt. OK, I have my doubts. But today, he made the whole Robertson family proud. Now, plus 7, 16. 8 times 8, 64. Correcto.
Mundo. Nine times nine. What happened to your other watch? The one that didn't beep. Look, the beep lets you know it's working. This is gonna be a long day. Hey, look here. Every once in a while, okay, there's a technological breakthrough, all right? It's what we call in the business a game changer. They got these things today, I'm telling you. You can go deep sea diving with one, okay? First, there was the clapper. You got the slap chop, George Foreman grill. Then you got this little baby right here, okay? It tells you all the stuff about the oxygen content in your tank. If I'd have had this thing back in high school, the depth, okay, that you can go. You talking about do some math. That watch does that? No, this thing here only costs 25 bucks. It's a calculator. Hey, I've been like Goodwill hunting. Hey, you like those Apple Jacks? Y'all miss me? Should I go to the creamery? Oh, yeah. I love that place. I have double cheese in between each patty. That place is awesome. It's just always packed. It's probably what? 400 people go through there in a day? They gotta be making a killing. Let's say you put in quarter for the bun. Okay. Say so you got 75 cents in the meat. Jesus. Okay. What else? Lettuce, tomato? Some paper, the drink. Right, si, quit hey, that no. stupid beef. Hey, I'm a math man. I went to business school, so I have a fine-tuned ability to assess profit. $2.50 per burger. But the truth is, it ain't all that hard to figure out if a business is gonna make money. Hey, on a week, they make $345,632. What? Them boys are making a killing. Unless you're Cy Robertson. I mean, it's like 15 to 20 million a year, Cy. They're not making We're that. not making well, that. Well, hey, I told is you. Is it possible you might have hit the wrong numbers? Hey, the calculator does not lie. All right, whatever. Y'all need to get back to work. Where are we at on this order? 100 calls left. How long is it going to take? Right. We're close. It'll take us about two weeks to get it done. <laughs> hey, I just calculated on the machine. You got a hundred left, okay? Get it done. So it's a hundred duck calls. Hey, look, don't blame the machine. What are you doing? Hmm, working on my newest idea. Willie's Quack Shack. Oh. Awesome burgers, <laughs> good sides, good times. When I see a promising business opportunity, I can't pass it up. How hard can it be? I've known Willie his entire life. He's not passing up a burger. I make the best burger in this town. I just don't sell them, but I should, and I will. Two words. Early retirement. In town? You don't make the best burger in our family. What? I got two words for you. Food poisoning. Willie, I make better burgers than you. Have you lost your mind? No. So out of this family, who makes the best burger? Phil. Besides Phil, who makes the best okay. burger? Okay. All right, between me and Jace, no, who makes hey, the best I burger? I have to eat one from both of you. Fair enough. I'll take him on. In a burger cook -off? Yeah. Just because Jeez. I don't eat as many doesn't mean I don't know how to cook better. We gonna do this again? Burger eating competition? No question. Willie's your man. Fine. We'll cook burgers. Me against you. But this is a burger making competition. Just like old times. Oh, Willie's going down. Oh, it's old. I'm like the redneck Emerald Legacy. Mm -hmm. I need to do some market research anyway. Let's go. So si, that's not actually in your own head. We can all hear that. Yeah. Uh oh. Hey, look. I'll put my appointments in here, okay? And when it be what, your appointments, nap time and bathroom time. Hey. An appointment is an appointment. Let's go. We gotta get some supplies. Hey, I'll make an appointment for the cook off. Si, turn that stupid watch off. So why do you need newspapers? Uh, Jessica's got some kind of art project called decoupage. What? Decoupage. It's a French word. I know it sounds kind of dirty. It's like it's like masticate or cockle. 
They're funny words. It's whatever. Around here, stuff tends to pile up. A lot of what most people would characterize as junk. Whoa. So when my son comes rolling in and his woman's into a deck of cockle, deck of, deck of cobble, whatever it is, what do you think? Is that enough to take care of your business? Yeah, I think this is plenty, Dad. And I have to seize upon the opportunity. How much of this stuff you need? Uh, just a bit of it. Next thing you know, the pile's not there anymore, and old Jeff walking off, you know, sweating. <laughs> That's a treasure trove of paper. You got a big bunch of junks, what you got. Are you kidding? Think about kindling. How many fires could you start with that? I've seen my dad try to set this trap before. Manufacturing housing cost guide. You need one of those? No, but I came for a few stacks of newspaper. Phone books. No. Find out what someone's telephone number used to be. That, that sounds like useless information to me. And that's what I'm going to leave with. Some encyclopedias there? No. Pad boxes? No. Cat litter? Do you have cats? No. I know he ain't looking at decoupage. Call it my recycling bin. Well, it's not a recycling bin unless you recycle it. He's looking for a dump truck. You need it, son. Bingo. Recycle. This is not recycling, Dad. You have to take it to the recycling center. Recycling center? Mm-hmm. That's a good idea. Load it up. Well, I mean, not me. I mean, you should get Jimmy Red. Yeah. That's what I got you for, son. Blood kin, all the way to roll. Yeah, I don't I don't like that policy. I don't want to do this. Don't like the policy? No, sir. So you're looking for old newspapers. Man, do I have a sale for you. You need what I have. And that is the only way you get them. It's all about supply and demand. Get your wheelbarrow. Uh, hey, you knock it out in 15 minutes. No, it's going to take a lot longer than that. No, not if you hurry. Y'all ready? I don't use baskets. How are you going to carry your groceries? That's what women do. All right, let me just say it. I don't like grocery stores. I'm a man. It doesn't say women on it. Hey, it is a grocery purse. The last thing I'm going to do is to go get a basket to put my food in. It's a basket? Size so right. Yeah, but it looks good on you. Jace is trying to get my head over this burger cook-off. Just like every competition we've ever had. No looking at my ingredients. It's a hamburger. That's why you're gonna lose. Jace doesn't have any secret ingredients. He just doesn't want me to see that he has no idea what he's doing. All right, I'm gonna get our beef. You want me to tie me? Yeah, go ahead. All right, let me get my stopwatch up. Okay. The grocery store? Now, this is my domain. Hey, Jace, why don't you try to take a shark on in the ocean? That's what that's like. It's like a shark in the ocean, like me in a grocery store. Willie, we don't want meat in a tube. What? Okay. It's the same Look. thing, son. Hey. Yeah, y'all need to move on. I don't want you seeing what I'm getting. Let me guess. We're both going to get some ground beef. We're making hamburgers. Yeah. This is the key ingredient. Go ahead, Will. Use your mystery meat. How's it going today? Here's the man I'm looking for right here, the butcher. All right. The meat I'm buying? But what I want to know is how fresh is this beef? It requires a full. Are these free range cows or are they in a pen? Thorough. Do you grind this meat up yourself? Interrogation. What, what are you, the health inspector? This is what champions do. I want to put this guy on the hot seat. How long do you have the meat on the shelf? Do the cows come from other states or are these Louisiana cows? You know, tighten the sphincter. If you want to be an idiot, go ahead. We're getting our beef going. There's no shortcuts when it comes to winning. You take the best. Can you grind up a ribeye? Oh, yeah, I can grind anything you want. It'd just be a little more expensive. Oh, money's not an option here. Mm-hmm. What are you doing, guy? Oh, I'm working on the neck now. Who eats chicken in a grocery store? You can't shop on an empty stomach. You'll buy the whole store. Ah. Easy. Ah. Ah. Man, this is a lot harder than I thought. Ah. Boy, it's nice to be young, ain't it? I wish I was your age, Jeff. <sighs> I wish you were my age, too, so you could help me do this crap. I think it's a two-man job. Two-man job? Yeah. No. 
One thing I tried to instill in my boys in life, there's always risk and rewards. Remember, the old recycling caper was your idea, not mine. Not really. I but... think it was a terrific idea. Coming down to the old homestead, he took a big risk. Well, you're not even sweating that much. But at the end of the day, it'll pay big rewards. My underwear is soaked in sweat. Really? Yes. For me, at least. Hi, babe. Hey. Well, ladies. Did you get this for me for my decoupaging? Yep. That's so sweet. I mean, I don't necessarily know if I need this much, but. What do you do on the decoupage? How do you do it? Decoupage. You take cute little articles and pictures and glue them down and put a varnish over them. Oh, I just love old newspapers. You know, the memories and just seeing old pictures. That's weird, Mom. I'm old, Jeff. Yeah. I like old things. Yeah, but that's just like creepy old woman thing. I like old things, too. OK. <laughs> this decapoosh? Can you teach me how to do capoosh or whatever you call it? It sounds like really fun. Decapoosh. Yeah, you can join me. I love bringing old things back to life. You want to decapoosh with me? <laughs> Kate, decapoosh. De Decapoosh. I know it's French, right? Decapoosh. If I hear that word one more time, I'm fixing to throw up. Isn't he precious? All aboard the K-Train. Destination Funville. I want this one and this one. Choo-choo. All right, OK, take the rest, babe. Don't work too hard. Too late. Stupid decoupage. Captain, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Duck Commander's first annual burger cook-off. Wow. Why are you yelling? Hey, I'm announcing. Nobody's here. It's just us. Well, I know. I'm announcing. I'm getting into it. Well, just do it oh, softer. OK. What are you cooking? I'm calling this my Willie Super Stack. Let me guess. It's fattening. As an older brother, Jace has always acted like he's better at everything. I've got the avocado, cheeses, jalapeno peppers. Why do you have eggs? He's a better hunter. He's a better burger chef. That's my secret ingredient. <laughs> One time he even told me that he was better at flipping channels. Hey, you top anything with a fried egg. You're going to lose. But I'm confident in my burger skills. This time, Jace has bitten off more than he can chew. See what I did there? No matter what you put on your burger, there's still going to be meat that came from a tube. I got ground up ribeye. What are you using pans for? Don't underestimate the value of That's the pan. That's so rookie, dude. Hey, Sir. we got two judges over here that are hungry. I'm starving to death. You just ate an entire chicken. How could you be hungry? It was a little chicken. Gentlemen, start your grill. On your mark. Get set. You ready? Uh-oh. Si, turn that stupid watch off. Hey. It's distracting. <laughs> Y'all go ahead and start. I got to fix this watch. I have to get it. Uh, this pretty well puts me out of the recycling business. I'm getting wore out. Well, we're almost done. We're almost done? Been a hard day, hasn't it? <laughs> Appreciate all your help, Dad. Most dads would just ask for their son's help. My dad is different. How come this stinks so bad? Huh. Paper is like thick, wet. Well, I hate to tell you this, rat pee. But most fathers don't have thousands of newspapers soaked in rat pee. Why didn't you tell me this before? I wouldn't even have done it. Which is why I waited for now to tell you. A tour like that takes more than just asking. You don't divulge that kind of information until the end of the day. It takes a little tricanery. Thanks, Dad. That doesn't seem very fatherly, but... Well, don't be touching your mouth with it. Rat pee in my beard. Thanks, Dad. Best to wash your hand when you get the food with that rat pee like that. You get the hantavirus, then the diarrhea and the rigors. Most people are immune to it in this part of the country, but subdivision people, it runs through them like sauce through a sick cat. Well, I live in the subdivision Well, that's now, what I'm so. saying. You're at a higher risk, no doubt about that. I mean, think about it. I'm looking out for you, you know. It's another life lesson. Oh, yeah. Getting a little too hot. Well, these are looking good. How's that pan working, Jace? Oh, it's working like a charm. You smell that? No. It's the smell of champions. 
They both smell like burnt hamburger meat to me. Uh-huh. Oh. Jason, let me borrow one of your pans. I need to cook this egg. You were ragging my pan, and now you want to borrow it? No. Yeah. No. No. I got my bacon grease inside of it. He wants to share in a burger cook-off. As competitive as Willie is, the man doesn't understand competition. I can use that. No. 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 Would Batman give the penguin his Batmobile? You can't use any of my stuff. Would Hacksaw Jim Duggan give King Kong Bundy his two before? Five minutes. Just let me borrow it. This is a competition. Shh. Would I give a duck a bulletproof vest? Of course not. Chase. No. 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 But I wouldn't even be having a conversation with a duck. That's it, boys. Time is up. Finally. I'm uh, hungry. Ah, uh, it's not a time competition. You still hungry? I'm still hungry. Hey, give the boy a burger where you shut up. Fine uh, with me. I know I'm gonna win. A whole chicken and a half a cow. Oh. Grill is officially closed. <laughs> All right, Kay. So you kind of just pick out your favorites, cover it with glue. You know? Oh, man, this is uh, neat. And you've gotten some quiet time, because you know with four kids, I don't get much quiet time. So this is kind of my <gasps> relaxing. Look at these cats, just like the cats that I raised when I was young. Her name was Freckles. <laughs> Decoupage is the perfect way to relax. Look at that cute baby. You know, Jason was my fattest baby. Uh-huh. It's quiet. Willie was thin. I don't know what happened to him. It's zen. Have you ever heard a crow? It's like meditating. Up, oh, what about football? Well, it is when I do it alone. Did I tell you about that time in college? I think you did. Well, I'll reach out to you, because I love that story. You know what this quiet project needs? More quiet. Hey. Hey. Hey, guys. Whoa, you're tearing up a perfectly good table here. We're creating art. Recycling, decomposing, just a way to get rid of crap. It takes a lot of imagination to do this. Oh, I guarantee you got to reach way back in there. Rat pee and coon dung infested papers. A couple of real Picassos. It's fun. Yeah, let's cut them out, paste them on a table, and then let's eat off of them. Now that is really the way to occupy your time. <clears throat> of course, on the plus side, I did get a shed cleaned out. So, Phil, how'd your day go? Jeff and I have bonded. Oh, I'm so glad. I've been wanting that to happen for years. We need to find better ways to bond. <laughs> hey, Jeff, maybe you can help your mom get that table into the shed there. Crap. There you go, boys. That's the Willie Super Stack. That is a mountain of beef. It's probably a couple of pounds. I've created the ultimate burger. It's got everything on it. That's a big burger. Of course it is. You're a big man with a healthy appetite. When these guys taste this thing, they're going to forget all about the creamery. I don't know how to attack it. Just climb up on top of it, fat boy, and do your business. It's never good to insult the judges. Fat people can call other people fat. That's OK. I would like to present to you the winning burger. Oh. All right, let's start with my burger first. Let's see right here. Dig in there. Did you get on in it? There's too much going on. What is your problem, man? Eat the burger. <laughs> Where do you grab the thing? You should have put a handle on it. Too much? There's no such thing as too much of a good thing. You overdid it, as usual. You're a terrible judge. Look, let's face it. Nobody really wants to give the boss a trophy. Martin, watch. This is how a man picks up a freaking giant burger and eats oh. it. But that sure is crap ain't gonna stop Godwin. Get it on there, Godwin. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why did you squeeze it like I it could not with my mouth that big? Freaking gorilla claws here. That's not a hamburger. That's hamburger soup. Nice. One. Clearly, this is going to be a landslide victory. Now it's time to try my burger. The Jace burger, it's a lot like me. See, look, it's easily handled. It's not real fancy. Yeah, because it's burnt. Doesn't have a lot of fat content. That looks like it came out of the Sahara Desert. Simple? Perhaps. But there's the beauty. <laughs> hey. Mm? Yeah. Hit me with it. <laughs> what? Oh. What are you doing? I think it's just a hair overcooked. Maybe it was that meat didn't have enough fat in it. Yeah, that's zero fat, you idiot. You got to have fat in oh, it. Wait a minute. Let Godwin have a try. What about it? 
No, you ain't getting none of my teeth. You ain't getting none of my teeth, son. Uh, hey, what's your vote? They both lose. Ain't either one of them edible. Si, you gonna try it? No. Hey, this body is my temple. I ain't putting that crap in this temple. Yeah. Well, that was stupid. Let's go to the creamer and get some real burgers. I'm down with that. I'm paying. I'm on timers. Sash. Get ready, get set, go. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Yeah. We finally got a real burger. A burger, baby. All right, y'all bow. Father, thank you for another day on planet Earth. Thank you for this good food. I pray we do two things, love you more each day and love each other. Amen. 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 In the business world, the end result tends to be all that matters. A product can be made of the best parts, but turn out like crap in the end, like mine and Jason's burgers. Or it can be made out of crap, but turn out great in the end, like the decoupage table. In the family world, though, what matters most ain't the end result. It's the fun you have getting there. Or in Uncle Si's case, timing how long it takes to get there. 345,615 seconds. Si! <laughs> Good job, Will. Yep, good Thank game, you. Will. Yep, you look good out there. Right. Coach, good game, man. Thank you. Good game, Coach. Yep. Yep. Thank coach. you. Be good. Hey, can I drive? Have you lost your mind? It's raining, son. Well, I have my permit. He does need to practice, even in the rain. Yeah. All right, we'll split the difference there. I'll let you back the truck out, and then I'm gonna drive home. You good with that? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Back it out. All right. Foot on the brake. Hey, I didn't serve overseas, OK, to die in a parking lot. Take your time. All right. Man, it's a 10. Don't and let two. Dad and Si make you nervous, now, Will. Okay. All right, take your time, but like a little faster than what you're doing. So it's kind of a tradition in our family that Willie teaches the kids how to drive. I potty trained them, also helped them with their homework, read books to them. All right, Will, you got this. Y'all clear behind you. Stop. Oh, is that how you're doing? Put it in park. OK, well, you did he good. didn't kill anybody or <laughs> injure anybody. Good job. I never remembered you reading me a book. Me? You never remember me reading you a book? How soon they forget. I might not cook for you, but I read you a lot of books. I actually cook for you when you're a baby. <laughs> good job, Will. Thanks. He's been doing really good. I think he All might right, be. Big man. I think All he right. might be our best driver. Cut, cut it down to directions, son. Si, I think I know what hey, I'm doing. Hey, you fixed to run over something? Hey, run over nothing. Hey, I told you you was gonna run over si. something. I just bumped it. Oh. Coach, you all right? Oh, okay. He should let you drive. He should let you drive. Yeah, see? He should let you drive. Yeah. You knocked over the whole thing. You got to watch him like a hog, yeah, Coach. Si, si was back there talking, distracting me. Good. Willie, you cannot blame this on Si. I can blame anything on Si. You hit the cart. Uh, Y'all should break that tradition with him teaching them how to drive. I'll teach him. When's the last time you ran into something? On the way here. On the way here, I she said. Out she knocked mirror. out part of the mirror. Are the you serious? Here. Yeah, she hit the garage. Yeah, it's true. So this is a family thing. Actually, John Luke ran into your car, right? Right. Whenever he first got his license. Right. That's Sorry. why I got tape set back there. <laughs> <laughs> and guess who told him? Dang it, that's a scratch. I'm having a hard yeah. time with this family. Oh, I had a buff right out. Don't worry about it. It's weird that we're going to have four kids that are driving. West Monroe will never be the same. It's a lot of insurance. Oh, yeah. You got the money to pay for it. Don't worry about it. Pipe down, Si. All right, sorry about that, Coach. Si, see what you did? Hey, what? Me? Well, I'm saying you're sitting there in my ear the whole time. Do not blame your bad driving on me. Si. Dad, I don't think you should teach me. Missy, how oh, are you this Mr. evening? Mr. Kirby. Uh, is Jace here? Sure. Come on in. Hey, Jace. Look, it wasn't hey, me. Randy Kirby. Good seeing you again. Hey. One of our neighbors uh, noticed a beaver in our neighborhood, and they're uh, concerned that it may be rabid. Can beavers have yeah. rabies? Probably not. He's probably just saying this is my territory. Was well, this something you think you could help us with? Oh, I could take care of that problem quick. But I figured that wasn't part of the rules. OK, so the HOA does not want us to burn leaves in the driveway. Stupid. Jason, we're going to get in trouble again. Huh? 
Have chickens. Dumb. <laughs> get, 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 get. Chickens make me happy. You cannot have chickens. Dump grease in our flower beds. Ignorant. Smells like bacon. You can't dump grease in your front yard. No, sir. But now the tables have turned. I usually charge 50 bucks because they're scared of a little beaver. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe as a favor to the neighborhood, you could uh, provide a little bit of pest control for us. Well, what if I dump my oil and grease in my yard, I take care of your pest problem, and we call it even? Well, if you'll take care of the beaver problem, then you can dump your grease in the backyard anytime you want. Oh, my god. Now goodness. we're talking. Now, there's one condition. We really need to be discreet. Hey. I'm all about discretion. You'll never know we're there. No, 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 really. You want in on the beaver hunt? I like when you come hunting with me. I'm not a big fan of duck hunting. But that's why you may be a beaver hunter, because you get to go at night. And I get to stay up late. No, 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 nobody's hunting a beaver under age 12. Yeah. You said under age 12. I am 12. I did, Thank didn't you, I? thank you. When I was a kid, this is how I bonded with my dad. We went hunting. That was the first positive thing that I saw him do. It's called family bonding. Oh, I might need to come out there and watch. Mom, no. Listen, this is awesome. It's going to work out perfect. I really appreciate Great. it. Buy me a, buy me a seat. Good deal. Come by any time. They eventually need something from you, and then the neighborhood warms up to you. They got a rabbit beaver. You should have asked for the chickens. <sighs> Should have asked for the chickens. Why didn't we? I don't know. Hey, Dad, since it stopped raining, can I drive home? Ah, uh, maybe rain coming, son. Dad. All right, you gotta practice sometime. He's gotta practice. Wait. Look, he's not qualified to teach you. You were the one who hit the basketballs, babe. That's right. I kissed him like a gentle kiss. No, you didn't. You, no, no. It's because Look, you were talking while no, I no, was trying No, no, don't blame to... it on me. I ain't on the wheel besides, OK? Think of this this way. What if that had been bombs? What? Yeah, there could have been bombs, Dad. It could have been bombs. OK. Well, boom! We'd all be dead. You are not fit to teach this young man how to drive because you're not fit. Unlike me, I am fit. What does being uh, uh, fit have to do with driving? Yeah. There ain't but one guy around here that's qualified to teach you how to drive a vehicle. That'd be yours truly. Oh, no. OK. The only thing he can teach you driving-wise is the drive through at a restaurant. Not true. May I take your order? Yep. Four massive burgers. I've drove everything from a Jeep to we an know. M1 Abrams M1 tank. M1 Abrams tank. We get okay. it, sir. Then I'm qualified. Actually, Dad, can we stop by somewhere to get something to eat? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you guys what. I'll get my driver's manual. A manual? And I'm going to see who's best according to the manual. That's a good plan. Look, this is not about a book. Uh, this is about learning how to drive a vehicle safely. Si, there are rules of driving that you have uh, to know. Look, I don't you know how to tell me? It's a jungle out there on the highway. The boy's got to know jungle rules, OK? Go ahead, You're not going to teach him how to drive. I think this is a good idea. It'll be good practice for Will. All right, fine. You got a deal. All right, go ahead. Drive home, everybody. We'll pick you up tomorrow if we remember to think about it. You better study, Cy. By the way, what time y'all picking me up tomorrow? I'll text you. Hey, you know I don't text. All right, we got to go through the night like ghosts. Like shadow hunters? Yeah, that's it. Me and you are going to be shadow hunters. This is kind of like war paint. Brings out your sense to put food on the table. What are y'all doing? We're getting fired up. Aw, Neil, you look mean. This is mainly for right. if we run up on people who are yuppies and they're wondering what we're doing out here in the pond. Just yell, Jep, Mia. If somebody walks out, just say, get down, Jep. When in doubt, blame a bearded man. I mean, I'm always worried and a little nervous about safety, but then I know how good your dad is about all that. Yeah. So I love it. I think the experience outweighs anything else. OK, well, she's got school, so. Um, Look, I don't expect to kill him the first night, but you happen to see him. OK, babe. Pow! Chase. It's all of it. Plus, when you start dating, 
you can use a crossbow, that's going to be helpful. Okay, we're we'll changing the subject. If he ever has any kind of unwanted advance, you say, you know, I know how to use a crossbow. Dad, <laughs> he gone. <laughs> <laughs> So you can use that line. Look, I gotta get a picture though, because this is your first beaver hunt. Really? <gasps> Take a picture of her down there with the beaver. Bye. Don't wait up for us. Good luck, have fun, and catch that beaver. Baby, don't catch beavers. You kill them. You kill them. Okay, we'll kill that beaver. Bye. Have fun. How was that? Something moved. Hey, we're in the woods. Things move. Look at that. That's a track. It looks like blood, old blood kind of. They make these little scent mounds. They poop and pee all over them, and they tell everybody this is our territory. That's what we're looking for. Eve. Everything leaves trails. So what is the first thing you look for? Poop. Poop? Show them right there. See what we've been gnawing on the tree? Do they not have taste buds? There's like baby trees or something, yep, and they like right. eat them, and it turns like yellowish color. That's right. It's kind of disgusting. Let's keep on. We're getting close. This is what we're looking for. I think there's more poop right there. But I hate that it smells like pee and poop. There'll come a time in your life where you'll cherish that smell. I'm good. <laughs> Look at that. Ripples. Hey, shh. Ease up here. I gotta load this. Shh. See those ripples right there? See those ripples? Shh. Mia. Sorry. Oh, he's gone now. They, when they're alarmed, they slap their tail on the water. Oh, why can't we just wait it out? Because the neighbors probably just said, did you hear that scream? Every story you've ever seen this bad starts off with, I heard a scream. But it's scary. Well, don't fret, because we're going to come back. He's going down. Well, your mom will be happy. It's not too late. you got to train yourself. No screaming. Copy that. No screaming. Whoa! Hey. Idiot. Yeah! All right, y'all ready? Whoa, 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 whoa. Put your seatbelt on first. Safety always That's, first. That's one point off. Well, I, no, I had not technically put it in drive. Wait, hold on. One more thing. You gotta check your mirrors. You gotta check and see if there's any children. Whoa. Uh oh, minus two points. Hey. Too heavy on the gas pedal. You are not fit to teach this young man how to drive because you've had too many accidents. You run over and backed into me in the parking lot of my own truck. All right. Oh. So I haven't had a wreck in like 20 years. Oh, darken you three points. For what? Going too far past the stop sign. Right. Another minus one, no blinker. Well, you don't have to put a blinker on to turn Oh, out. yeah, you got to put your blinker on. You was teaching Sadie how to drive, and she run over everything. Oh, oh. hey. In the Duck Commander parking lot. Not true. Hey, look out. Hey, ho! Will, I'm hands down the best driving teacher. Oh, docking you two points for driving with one hand. What are you talking about? It says it right here in section B. Section B! On page 23. 23, boys. If he teaches you how to drive, West Monroe is fixed to turn into a demolition derby. That'd be actually pretty fun. Well, hey, he's your man then. All right, Uncle Si, it's your turn. All right, first thing to do, right, safety boy, first, safety boys. Safety first, hey. boys, hey. Now, OK, check the mirrors, OK, yep, mm-hmm. All right, turn the blinker on. Hey, this thing got a little power, boy. All right, that's minus 10 points. What? There you go. We're going uh, hold it. way what? over no, the no, speed limit. Hold it, hold it, no. Cy is an insane driver. <laughs> no, no. My driving record is relatively unscathed. Mine is. Zero scale. I've only had one okay. bad one. I, I ain't had none. Dock him for crossing the white line on the right. What do you mean cross the white line? All right, that's minus five points for you. What do you mean minus five <laughs> points? I've been driving since I've been about four months old. Huh? What? Yeah. My dad used to set me in his lap in the old Model T. Look, we're fixing to pull what is known as a U-turn. Starting right now, then here's the U part of it. That's a circle. So we're making what is known as a circle turn. Minus 20 points. <laughs> this is the guy you want teaching how to drive? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> so what have you got? Y'all see your tabulizer in there? Both of y'all flunked the test. What? We've had our driver's license for way longer than you have. You know, what are we going to do now? Actually, I have an idea. 
What's that? Uh, we could go to Excalibur and go ride the go-karts. Now we're talking. Oh, please, no. Look at those ripples. After last night, you didn't be looking for you, Wilds. What's that? Unidentified yuppie onlookers. The good thing about beavers, along with most critters, is they have terrible memories. You give them a night off, next night, they're back to doing the same thing they've been doing. Yeah, the shadow hunters never miss their target. At least not the second time. This arrow's gonna light up so we can track it. Wow, that's cool. All right, hold him standing right there. Oh, yeah, that's him. Oh, sure, you're not ready. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah, he's thrashing. I believe I got him. That was a good spot. I learned that beavers sink, so you have to, like, if you shoot sure that you have to go in the water to get them. You either have to get them quick or you have to shoot them in shallow water because they sink like a rock. But they I don't sink. get They poop so much. Why aren't they skinny? It's a valid point. Oh, yeah. Ew. Hey, you know that sound you heard? That's what did it right there. Dad, be quiet. There could be a UIO. You want to carry him? I'm good. OK. Congratulations on your first bee run. The first of many. There, knock on the door. There you go. That's good. Hi, hey, guys. Good Jace. news. Look at here. Oh, is that thing bleeding on my front porch? Oh, yeah. We got him. You could have just sent me a picture. Well, I needed the proof of death. We had a deal. Here he lays. There's we... blood all over the front porch. Here's my part of the deal. That's awesome. And we did it in the shadows. We did. We were discreet. So here's my plan. They're now going to say nothing about dumping bacon grease. But if I get rid of this carcass, then I might can get a little something extra. All right, enjoy the beaver. Oh, whoa, what am I supposed to do with this? There's always a problem. And guess who they're going to call? You. Jace Buster. Maybe we should change our name from Shadow Hunters to Shadow Busters. Nah. Well, disposal is extra. Our deal was for me to shoot the beaver. I shot the beaver. Well, I mean, I like we're the hunters. We just hunted something. Maybe it Buster or something. Let me see. Who are you going to call? Shadow Hunters. Yeah, that works. That works. We'll go. No, we don't need a theme song. I'm kind of thinking now, if you want me to take care of this beaver, then maybe every year when I burn my leaves, y'all look the other way. What, what about this? Do it in your backyard. Whatever happens in the backyard stays in the backyard. Deal. Good. What about the chickens? Mr. Robertson, thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Ooh. All right, come on, Mia. Y'all have a good evening. We'll take care of it right. later. Thank you. Guys, this is the ultimate driving test. This is a go-kart race. We're going 10 laps around this whole track. I thought we was going 100, Grand Prix style. So we're not going 100 laps. We're going five. Five laps. Five I can laps. do five in my sleep, buddy. Five laps, but it's a race to the death. Or at least you have to break something or be bleeding. He's going to be bleeding. Trust me, I'm going to put him in the wall. So Somebody's got to lose a finger. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hat's backward. Look out. I got wall on my mind, and I want Willie what is your problem? Now smack it. Me and Cy failed wheels driving test, so now we're gonna race go-karts to prove who's the better driver. Are we gonna do this or what? I got my money on the old crazy one. <laughs> if that wasn't crazy enough, the guys have placed obstacles from the warehouse on the track to make it more realistic. This is gonna prove nothing. I feel the need uh, for speed, boys. Look, the only reason I agreed to this stupid go-kart idea was I wanted to show little Will that it takes real skill to drive. Well, I can't believe you talked me into this. I can't believe you even got in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope that I'm not going to be teaching little Will how to drive from a gurney. Ready, set, go. Uh-oh. Willie's just dead. Oh! Uh -huh. He got loose. Look at him. Talk. Oh, oh, he's oh, talking he's him now. Getting beat by a 90-year-old man. Run! Hey, Willie don't understand what he just got himself into. This is combat driving to the death. Ah! Two men enter, one man leaves. Hey, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Oh. He put a move on no. him. He put a move on him. We got a race. 
Tells me Sai must have like a lifetime pass out here. Yeah. Shine and chrome. The hollow awaits. Last lap. Oh, look, look, look. Uh-oh, Willie making a run on the him. outside. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, put him in the statue. <laughs> Move. What do you mean a dirty move? That's the only move. I have learned a lot from what you have taught me, but I have come up with my teacher. Who? John Luke. That's the stupidest idea I've ever the, heard. That's the plan now. That's the worst idea ever. John Luke's had five wrecks in like a year. I think so. He rolled his dad's pickup. He's totaled one of my trucks. Well, those who can't do, cheech. Oh, boy. That's fine, man. I'll give you three more laps. Double or nothing. Come on. Uh, ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Double or nothing. Double or nothing. Make a new bet, boys. <laughs> Go, Si. Hurry up. Hey, what, what are you doing, knucklehead? Eat my dust, old man. All right, y'all bow. Thank you, Father, for another day. Thank you for the good food you blessed us with. I pray, Father, we do what is right in all circumstances, and we love our brothers. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 Right, let's eat, boy. Let's get on. When you're raising kids or trying to coexist with your neighbors, sometimes you have to make some compromises, which may mean starting new traditions like a father-daughter beaver hunt or ending old ones like a father teaching their kids how to drive. Even though you might feel a little bit like you're being replaced, the most important thing is you're spending quality time with your family. And that's something that can never be replaced. I can't believe Will picked John Luke. Hey, he could have been worse. He could have picked Corey. True. This is so nice. Don't you like this? Okay. I brought the game to an art gallery tonight because I've been looking to diversify my portfolio by spending some money on some artwork. James, what are you wearing, dude? Look at you. What's wrong with what I'm wearing? He's wearing camouflage pants. To say that I was forced against my own will to come to this art gallery would be a correct assertion. This is man becoming innovated. What's worse is Willie trying to prove Love this piece. that he's sophisticated. Anybody for a little of the vino? Willie has way too much facial hair to rise to the next level in society. Mmm, it's real balanced. I actually don't know much about wine. You give me a couple of days, I'll be an expert. Nutty. Right. What kind of wine is this? Pinot Noir Reserve. I like the finer things of life. Mmm. I didn't get the sophisticated gene of this family. Let's move on. I started the sophisticated gene of this family. Now, we oh got somebody God. with some style. How are y'all? Good. Good. Look, nice day. Did you wear the puffy shirt? I like my puffy shirt. Ah, it's beautiful. I got some good news, boys. I just bought a vineyard. Would oh, you lose goodness. a bet? Feast your eyes on Tuscanderos. Is that in America? I cannot believe you actually bought it. Actually, I think I'm going to change the name of it. Either to Willie's. Willie's wine. If something starts off with Willie, it has to be moonshine or nothing. That doesn't sound sophisticated enough, babe. Why is Willie not sophisticated? Willie's moonshine. That fits. 
Willie's Wine. Never. I guarantee you, you do a check, and most people named Willie are either in prison or they're like on the arm wrestling circuit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a businessman. I can see potential. I'll have a little presentation. Oh, my goodness. When they see it, they're going to be blown away. That's what you bought? Yeah. I hope you didn't spend a lot of money on this. You gone out and looked at the ground? No, I bought it online. You bought it online? Yeah, it was in an auction. I got a smoking deal. Oh, my goodness. I think it's going to be interesting. It looks like a cemetery. This is like somebody giving me backstage passes to an insured disaster. Y'all are going to love it. This is going to be the coolest thing we've ever done. I'm going on the ship because if it crashes, I want to watch it. The coolest thing we've ever done. Yeah. Are y'all hungry? Yes. Your favorite, peanut butter and jelly. Yes. yes. Merritt likes jelly. She's gonna make jelly for her husband when she gets big. I only had four sons, so by having the granddaughters, it's just like the daughters I never had, but I always wanted. I know who my husband is gonna be. Justin Bieber. No, no, no. I don't know about this Justin the Bieber. He seems to have swept over all the young girls, but he don't do nothing for me. Well, hey. Well, here it is. Here. You and our m &Ms. What about it? Y'all supposed to ask how many y'all killed? Okay. Two ducks, two ducks. That's right, and be excited about it. Hey, Phil, I'm gonna need you to take care of the granddaughters for a change. The girls here? Willie just called, he needs me for something. You just take them, you teach them about the trees and the water and all the good stuff. Where we go, little girls like that get killed. No. I don't do well with little girls. Being cooped up with them all day, no, 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 no. That's the mammal zone, not papa. It's your Christian duty as a grandpa to take time with those kids. Oh, I love them little granddaughters, you know, but they are a chore, a big one. You ain't talking about today. Yeah, I'm talking about today. Look, Si, you can help too. Okay. Take care of these girls. That's like a Vietnam firefight. I gotta get out of this. Do not let anything happen to them, okay? Teach them some life lessons. Bye, I love y'all. Because I know Phil. It's every man for himself. Yeah, I'll teach them some things. Start with shutting up and sitting down. That's the way to be with the little girls. It'll be every little girl for herself. Y'all be real quiet for about an hour. What are y'all gonna do? We're gonna take a nap. Now we're babysitting, Si. What have we got into? We're so there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You know what this is, Kay? What? Robertson Winery. I just bought it. Oh, I really don't know what to say. It's not often that my boys buy something I can actually appreciate. This is beautiful. Like back in the pioneer yeah. days when they had wine, Kay. This is the vineyard. This is beautiful. My question is, where are the grapes? Uh, yeah. Needs a little work, a little work. Hey, Willie, you big extravagant purchaser, where are the grapes? Willie showed me a bunch of pictures of a bunch of vines and hey, grapes. Hey, it's gonna look like the picture. Show me the grapes. You gotta put hand to plow, son, I hand to plow. Trying to make wine with no grapes, do you believe in miracles? I can see it now. This whole thing's gonna be slammed full of grapes. We just hit it at the wrong time. But you can always turn water into wine. If you're Jesus. Oh, it's gonna be nice. The last time I checked, your name was Willie. You're gonna be buying wine at the quick stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's real funny. I ain't sure where the grapes went to, but hey, there's no problem. When in doubt, figure it out. That's the redneck way. I think I need to call in an expert. You should have called the expert before you bought this thing. This place is nice, isn't it? I know. We just got to figure out how to do it, don't we? That's why I got the expert coming in. <laughs> Look, I realize I'm in over my head. We don't have any grace, but don't hit the panic button. I got a sommelier on the way. Hey, Jeff. Hey, how y'all doing? Jeff Landry with Landry Vineyard. We are just so excited about hearing about y'all buying a winery. It's a tough business. Growing is tough. Winemaking is tough, too. I mean, you might should have found out some facts, you know, about I how to do it. I read a bunch of stuff. Well, good. I feel better now. Thank you. 
Most of the rednecks I know think wine only comes in a box. There's way more varieties. Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot. That's pretty much the two that I know about. We were gonna do a wine tasting at the end of the month. Uh, you, you, got a, you got a ways to go before you're gonna have something in a bottle. You jumped the gun as usual, didn't you? I thought you just went out there and picked it. You have a degree, but it's not in wine making, is it? No, it's in wine drinking. Okay. I mean, Jesus turned water into wine. How hard can it be? Well, there's a little leaf. This is Blanc du Bois. That's the name of this grape. Blanc de who? Blanc du Bois. It's a wine grape. All these are Blanc du Bois? Uh, Blanc du Bois. Blanc du Bois. Blanc du Bois. Blanc du Bois. Willie can't even pronounce the name of the grapes. It's Blanc du Bois. See, I can't pronounce the name of the wine. <laughs> I mean, you're four months away before you're ready to produce grapes, but you're still over a year away before you have something in the bottle, you know? Oh, man. I don't know if this guy knows, but I'm about the least patient person on this planet. He's giving me the 10-year plan. I want the 10-day plan. I mean, you can buy grapes, but the problem is this is not harvest season for any part of the country right now. There's grapes at the grocery store. I see well, you just buy them and bring them in? That's not the same type of grape. Wine grapes are very complex in, in flavor and character. We'll figure something out. It's about a wine farm with no wine on it. We've got a huge wine tasting event that Corey's already sent invitations out to. We got no grapes, and we got no wine on hand. It's time for Plan B. Jace. Hey, get me some wine grapes. Wine grapes? When Batman needed something, he called Robin. Google it or something, I don't know. What are you talking about? I got my own boy wonder. You get the wine grapes and meet us here. Well, Willie. All right, bye. So how do we get roped in the babysitting detail? Are y'all having fun yet? No! There's more yeah. yipping and squealing coming out of little girls than I even thought was imaginable. <coughs> Where is it all coming from? <coughs> I would say that's just this out of hell, maybe hell itself. Uncle Sly, hey. why are we here? You got work doing this duck blind. Grab this cane and start putting it on this blind. That's your job, mister. It's your job today. It ain't no telling what these girls gonna put me and them through. Hey, I put them to work, you know? That way, at least, I get something out of them. Little piglets. Hey, look here. Get some more mud on that blind. Look at that. We know we gotta do something we wanna do. Well, what do you wanna do? We're waiting to do a tea party. A tea party? We ain't got no teapot. They're trying to feminize us. I could have trained a bunch of monkeys to do more than these girls been helping today. <laughs> All they've done is get me muddy. Hey! Get out of that mud! Hey. And I finally had enough of it and started after him with a stick. Their mother or daddy may not whoop them, but hey, Uncle Si will tear their tail up. See right here, this is how you get ducks. Oh, it took away, not ducks. That's a bad sign. These ain't redneck girls, these are yuppie nope. girls. Rich kids. What is a redneck? Hey, you're not one if you don't know what it is. These girls have gone yuppie right before my very eyes, and it's a frightening sight. My undies are wet and all the thrill and the wonder of grandchildren. I'll show you, redneck. I'm on TT's grandkids of mine, the Robertson Way. Let's get them back to the house and hold all four of them down. Come on, get out of there. Let's go. I'm going to be tasting these grapes for a month because all the juice is drained down in my beard. There's Will. Look at him. Got them? Oh, we got them. All the grapes you can eat. Seems like a bad sign when you buy a vineyard and the first thing you have to do is buy some grapes. What vineyard did you get these from? I went to the grocery store and I bought them. He said to get wine grapes. No, but listen to me. I looked it up. All a wine grape is is a grape with a lot of sugar in it. It'll work, I'm telling you. Well, quit eating all of them. Come right up here. Let me show you something. Stand right here, real steel. Stand real close together. Get in a circle. Y'all had so much fun getting me and Papa Phil all muddy. Now it's time for me and Papa Phil to have some fun. You know what? Look. <laughs> Over here, y'all. Okay. 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 And there ain't one way I know of to clean up a muddy grandchild. Where you Just hose the whole bats down. Don't run. Come back here. <laughs> we got to get all that mud off of you. I was trying to do the right thing here. That was my idea of trying to be nice. 
Are y'all having fun yet? They all went to squealing and carrying on, you know? Women. Now we're having fun, girl. Get back up here. You ain't clean yet. Now y'all all clean. Now look here. You see this right here? You know what that is? Catfish. The best eating fish that swims in the river right here what I have. If you find a woman who knows how to skin a catfish and cut him up, every man on the earth would be proud to have her. Now I'm gonna show y'all how to clean him. Y'all watching? We're gonna pull his hide off of him. See what I'm saying? Oh! It's just like putting your sock on and taking your sock off. Oh, God. This used to be his head. Watch this. Are y'all watching? No. See right there? Look here. <laughs> this is worse than Jaws. <laughs> Fresh catfish, get the peanut oil on. We fixed that with a fish fry. I thought my granddaughters would be elated. These are like fish nuggets. Ew, that's nasty. That's dinner. Right out of the river, ready to fry. So what do y'all think? Grilled cheese. Real cheese. Real cheese. Real cheese. <laughs> These girls don't know what good food is. No, they don't. All right, here's the deal. We got to get the grapes into the crusher. It's going to pull the stems out, drop the crushed grapes into the press, and we'll get the juice. I'm going to crush them. All right, that's the crusher. Y'all get the grapes in there. I'll get it from the press. All right, let's go. Fire in the hole. Maybe this is easier than I thought. We're 10 minutes into this. That thing works good. Juice is flowing. We got juice. You can already smell the wine. Oh! We got a ton of juice. Get it full. Get it full. Get it full. Hold on. Hey, Jay, it's getting too full. It's getting too full. All right, now it's full. Now it's full. Yeah, I shouldn't have put that last box in. I was close. Thanks. Or does this go on it, Will? OK, now what? You're the master winemaker. Oh, I'm not sure he knows what he's doing. Now we got juice. See it pushing? Oh, it's bubbling. Oh, this is like taking a wine bubble bath. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, this just sped it up. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's we sprung a leak. We sprung a leak. It's spreading up. We got a blowout. Look, it's just like everybody's, like, leaving the ship. I look down and I see the regurgitation of grapes in every way possible. Is that the way it's supposed to work? It's like vomiting. They keep oozing out every orifice. Hey, it's coming out at the top. Look out. <laughs> you can't stop. Look, too many. Too many. Oh, oh, shoot. Ah. Here, here we go. <laughs> Don't let them come out. Go. <laughs> Grapes are flying. <laughs> I'm hit. Grape shrapnel. K's down. Oh, my shoes. <laughs> I never realized that fruit could be so violent and dangerous. It's like a grape horror show. I've never made wine, but I wouldn't think this is standard operating procedure here. What are we going to do now, Mr. Big Shot? This ain't working. I've never made wine, but I wouldn't think this is standard operating procedure here. What are we going to do now, Mr. Big Shot? Look out. I saw this on a movie one time. This is the first job, Willie, that you've ever come out with that's good to have big, weighty individuals. I can taste the wine right now, can't y'all? Oh, this is the fun part, isn't this it? This is where the magic happens. I know there's a specific recipe to make good wine. I'll be a dumper. We don't have time for that. Whoops, Jay! If a little sugar and a little yeast is good, I don't know how much sugar to put in it. A lot will make it a whole lot better. Sell the hatch. And we're fixing to have the best batch of wine money can buy. Well, he spilled something. He poured it all over the ah, place. Stop it. And when you don't know what you're doing, you might as well do it quickly. Jace, we're spilling all our profits. We're going to make some wine. Let's make something that no one has ever tasted before, ever. Go. Ah. How does it smell? It's got a mustiness about it. We need more sugar. A little spice, a little kick to it, a little nastiness. Oh, yeah. More juice. Golly, that went down my <laughs> shirt. All that sugar. Oh. oh, Phil will be nosing around find that. <laughs> there is no doubt that this wine is going to be delicious. 
We put too much work into it. <coughs> All sealed up. What other duck call maker has their own wine? None. We just made some wine. Purple gold. Do you need one of these? I don't think I can use that. I'm not a feathery type person. Granddaughters will exhaust you far more quickly than grandsons, that's for sure. You want some earrings? Fingernail polish? I think I'll pass on both of them. You know, I don't do makeup. I don't care who's waving lipstick and Maybelline around. I ain't going there at all. See, real men don't fool with stuff like that. You need some kind of girly man. If we're going to do this, we're going to do it right. I want nail polish on my nails. Get the nail polish out. I've had a lot of people tell me that I have a feminine side. Right? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Do this with your hands. Oh, you do this? Well, that's one of them deals. You toss a coin and, hey, I hope it hits on the right side. We need some lipstick for him. Does anybody Lipstick? Some... I know I've got a tiara on my head, earrings on my ears, lip gloss. I don't have any feathers. I have two. I think the little feather thing that I had around my neck and going over my shoulder, hey, that was the finest touch. The rest of it was just wonder dressing. And you could put on a dress. <laughs> no, wait a minute. We're going too far now. Oh, no, no, no yeah, no, you're no, going to put no, on a dress, all no. right? No, hey, don't don't confuse me with a man that likes to dress up. I'm going to draw the line on, hey, no dress. Good night of living, Si. I didn't know you had it in you. <laughs> you want another hand? <laughs> yes. Whew. Hey, Ben. I got everybody here. My family. I've got special guests. I've got investors, potential customers. I brought all of them in for this wine tasting. We are so excited tonight to bring to you our latest Mallard Merlot from Duck Commander. Duck Commander wine will propel us to the top. At the top of whatever it puts you at with a wine label and duck call combination. Cheers to Mallard Merlot! Yeah. Drink up! <laughs> the wine that we've created kind of tastes like a cross between dough urine and jalapeno juice. Yo! and it smells like coon pee. Hey, I enjoyed it. Full body. City slickers. Don't know what's good. That's the nastiest stuff I ever tried drinking in my oh. life. My goodness. Well, Willie, at least you tried, son. At least you tried. We're hunters, not gatherers. We can do weddings or something here. <laughs> Just no wine. I'm going to buy wine in the box. Father, we are grateful for one more day on planet Earth. Thank you, Father, for our grandchildren, our little granddaughters. I pray, Father, we never forget where we came from and where we are now. Amen. 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 Dig in. There aren't many sure things in this world, and even the smartest ideas may not pay off, like Duck Commander wine, or Phil inside taking care of young, impressionable girls. The bottom line is, if you want an idea to succeed, you have to take risk. Because the only investments guaranteed not to pay off are the ones you never make. Anybody want to buy a winery? 